Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Engineers, where we are working on Bridgehaven. Now, there's a fair warning, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I generally record these, all my uh, Let's Plays, kind of uh, in a one-off kind of continual shoot. There's not usually a whole lot of jump skips and things of that nature, or a lot of editing that goes into these. So... I'm hoping my video software is doing better. I know for the past two episodes, it's been running into errors either at the beginning or the end of some videos and like skipping around in the recording. So I'm really hoping it's fixed for this one. And if it's not, then the only solution I can think of is to get a new recording software installed so that things can get going a little bit more smooth. Uh, I apologize for the last couple episodes of uh, TerraTech and TerraFormerCraft, but it's just, you find out in editing, or after it's been edited, that the video is pretty much broken for a couple minutes. It's, it's really random, and I just don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, that's the only news announcement for the beginning of this one. We are going to jump right into working on our residential district here. And I have even laid out parts of the main roads. As you guys can see, it, it, uh, it's a little maze-like, which is good. These are the main avenues that go throughout the, the residential district. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started just on the main gate initially. See how far we can get and go from there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get somewhat of a heart bar set up for these structures. Let's see, I need this. And I need a window version and a normal window. There we go. Let's see, I don't know how high I want these to go. Though to be honest, I could probably make them about three blocks higher, I think would be a good amount to start with. So let's grab some additional things that I might need for this. That being these kind of stone ceiling bits are good for expanding the staircase up in kind of a more smooth fashion. Alright, and we'll just do one more. We'll make we'll make the exit right here, essentially. Uh, how do I want this to work? If I put a full block here, it might make it too heavy. So we'll just do the wall. Connect another ceiling. block here like so these are kind of the moments where I wish you could do mirrored structures in medieval engineers just like space engineers because it would speed certain things up a whole lot because we could essentially build both of these towers at once but I have a feeling that would be a whole lot harder to do than space engineers because it's it's working off the the world grid not just the main structures grid so let's see if we can't now it was also brought to my attention as to a possible solution for my main problem that I've had for quite some time is the fact that say I make something like this and for shoot the past months I have to delete this whole block to edit it in any way but uh, now let me just rebuild this if I hold alt and right click it's actually working again and uh, it was brought to my intention that the reason for it deleting the whole block was in the options menu here if we go to game the building mode I usually set it to line because I did a lot of dragging out Shapes. I didn't want to use any hotkeys for that, but if it's set to line, 
it, it's treating everything, I guess, as a full block. So when I would right click, it would be like, oh, you want to delete in a line. And it would probably delete that whole block. So that is the main issue there, and that's solved. And yeah, thank you guys for pointing that out to me. Now, all I have to do, I guess, to make a line is just hold control for the initial placement. And then I can drag it as normal. It's not uh, a whole lot, you know, more inconveniencing. In fact, I think the, the deletion thing was more inconveniencing than being able to drag these out without having to hold control. So, yeah. Let's see. Can I fit this in here? Thank you. Drag this down to the bottom. Got to make sure we have pillars supporting the weight. These are very large towers. I hope to have them be structurally sound. You just, you just never know with this. Now columns, they they don't delete right. But I don't think they ever really did delete quite right. All right, and up we go. And then we can bring this side up as well. Let's see, is that too tall? It's almost too tall. Let's just chop off the top layer here. There we go. I think that's that's a much better height for what we have working for us. And I'm going to get rid of these. And I'm going to raise the point of the door up a little bit. You know, having a nice, big, tall, grand entryway, I think, looks pretty nice. There we go. Then we just need to work on this side. Bring this all up. All right, and once you have the established height set, it's a whole lot easier to just kind of speed through certain things. All right, bring this up. Let's see, I need the stone ceiling. And then we need staircase Let's see do I want to make that block solid just so it fits a little bit more flush why not I don't think it's gonna mess up the structural integrity too much but you never know things start to get pretty heavy at this point all right there we go so for the total plans on this episode, I'm going to try and do most of this tower on camera and then maybe we can lay out a house or so inside the uh, city limits. Now, what's going to be different about this town than, say, Lothloria is the fact that Lothloria is a bunch of individual houses kind of with their own yard or alleyways in between each house and things like that. This is more like a city, so things are going to be much closer together. You're gonna have almost like a row house effect down the main avenues, uh, i.e. the main street, which is the street connecting the castle island to this entryway, and then the main street connecting the, this kind of, I think this is gonna be like a town square of some kind over towards that island back there. So it's gonna go that way. Uh, this. This road here might end up changing a little bit and becoming a dirt terrain road, but I wanted to lay out some of the thicker roads first, and there will be some alleyways and little back back uh, alleyways, even though I just said alleyways twice. Uh, back courtyards, hidden courtyards, things like things of that nature. I uh, need a pillar again. Let's see. I'm gonna test to see if this battlement's still passable. No. Let's see, that's just 
the problem with the battlements. Sometimes just not quite wide enough to get a layer of detail in. I do like how tall it is though. That looks okay. And then possibly I might be able to squeeze in an actual pork cutlass or something here. So we'll just leave this hollow for now. But it would be nice to actually do something like that for once. It's not very common that I actually build a working gatehouse. And I need to throw on some pillars inside this structure. All the way down. All the way up. And down again. And up again. Sweet. Now, I don't know why it's not letting me place. There we go. I don't know what it was doing there. All right, now we just need the wooden floor to go on top of this one. Now, these are bigger towers, of course. So it's going to be a little bit more like the main gate to Bridge Haven in general. Just this, this thicker kind of really hefty wall. Uh, this large battlement that's keeping everyone safe. And we'll just scroll down here. Put down some more wooden floors. Put on the new battlements. always look nice. I, just just the look of the way they design these battlements in the games. I've always liked them. They, they work very well. Um, very accurate to what you would be seeing in the real world. And so that helps a lot. Like in Minecraft I know some people couldn't couldn't ever really make battlements right. They, they wouldn't use the right blocks so it would be a little too tall or too awkward looking kind of portray the correct look in my opinion. And now to actually connect these, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. But I can throw on these nice windows here. And I want the doorway to be on the back side. Just so people can come and go kind of in cover. You know, why not just throw a window on every every surface because, I don't know, why not? It keeps the building lighter. It keeps the thing to have great visuals inside so you can watch the skies while you're in the safety of undercover. And then I need to throw some battlements on the upper layer as well. throw on the roof and boom boom and boom and we'll get back to the straight piece all right now for the cap now how did I do the cap set the outskirts. It looks like it was a different shaped tower out there, so I just put the triangle roof on there, which, to be honest, might look fine. I might like that, just just so it's a little bit different. It's not quite so symmetrical. Ooh. I guess with the whole new thing, it might be best to 
hold alt when I want to make any changes with the way the generation of stuff has been changing. That's okay, that's a quick fix, nothing major there. Now if I hold alt, I should be able to get rid of just the little overhangs because they look a little weird on a round surface like this. There we go. And then we will do this in the opposite direction as well. Yeah, we'll give this a nice T junction for a top. I think that, that'll look nice. Does this have a piece already? Yes, it does. Delete that, and there we go. Okay, everyone, so the towers are complete. Um, they look fairly nice, I believe so. Now you guys can let me know what you think down below. Of course, hold on, I need to actually add a roof here. Or can I even add a roof here? Hmm. Don't know. I'll have to figure that out here a little bit later. Uh, but besides the tower, I went ahead and built our first little row house. Now, there's going to be different variations of this, of course. This is the most basic one. It doesn't have any balconies. It has only uh, two stories. Though, really, you could probably fit a loft in there as well. Um, and I can go ahead and give you guys a quick look around of this. So, uh, it's a a four by three kind of design which is great and of course there's going to just be one after another just all the way down uh, these straightaway sections lining our main road here to try and make it look a little bit more dense more city like but you know first floor we have kind of an open area followed by uh, back room and back storage and then a second floor that is open and then a bedroom, I'm sure, of some kind at this point. Now, the ones with maybe a balcony will have a balcony here instead of just a normal wall. But uh, if I put a door here, I have a feeling it would interfere if anyone wanted to put a bed or any furniture against the wall. Uh, that's the thing with windows. It, it really inhibits interior decorating for sure. So it looks a little alone right now, and it will probably be... Uh, it's a little bit of a daunting task to go ahead and, and just lay these out. But once I get a couple variations going, I might just copy and paste them next to each other and just you know lay them out that way. That might be cool. And then, of course, go back in and maybe throw in some variation in between them all. Um, but you, you guys can kind of picture what it will look like having that on both sides, kind of all the way down. Of course, some will be taller, some will be shorter. Uh, some will have different facades, some will be all wood, some will be all stone. So hopefully that will look pretty nice. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.